Hey, what's up, guys? Gadget Guru HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to download and flash the first official Jelly Bean Build One. Now, this is straight from AOKP, and it's the first build. Pretty exciting. It just came out several days ago. I flash it, so I just wanted to uh, test it and make sure it's all good before I posted a how to video. So, as you can see, it's fine. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you where you can get it and then how to flash it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to aokp.co.com. I, I, excuse me, aokp.co. Now I'll put the link in uh, on my blog and all that stuff. So just go to aokp.co. Next, this is what you should see right here. You should see the first thing in the news, which is on their homepage, is going to be release Jelly Bean Build One, and then it'll show you all the features and stuff. Over here on the right, you should see the latest releases. You're going to go over there, click on it, so it'll say some stuff, features, and so here they're going to show you instructions, so obviously the first thing you have to do is download it, download gapps, reboot and recovery, all that stuff. So, this is where you can find the downloads. So, I'm using the Verizon Galaxy Nexus LTE, so you're going to just download this. You can just click it and download it. But you're going to want to do this all from your phone. I'm just showing this on my computer, so it's much easier to read and just for you guys. So, in most, you would download this from your phone, download that and then download this down here Google Apps okay so once you have that all downloaded you're gonna wanna head back over to your phone so you're gonna want to uh, power it off Okay. And then we're going to reboot our phone into recovery mode. This is all assuming that you've already made a backup and all that stuff. So you want to make sure you have all, have all that stuff first. That way if you do mess something up, it isn't the end of the world. So if you have a Galaxy Nexus now, you're going to reboot into recovery. You can do this manually by, by holding down the volume up and down button and power at the same time. Or you can go into ROM manager and uh, hit the button reboot into recovery so I'm just gonna do it manually it doesn't make a difference it won't affect anything so now you're gonna just volume down rocker volume down rocker and power once you get to recovery mode pretty self-explanatory and it is easy but I understand a lot of you guys are new to flashing ROMs and stuff so that's okay too Okay, so here's Clockwork Mod. This is where we're going to be doing pretty much everything. I'm trying to move this down. Oh, it's out of the glare. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe our data and factory reset it. I don't, I don't want to do this again because, well, unless you're on, unless you're already on AOKP, you won't have to, uh, if you're on AOKP, you don't have to reset or wipe anything other than like cache and stuff like that, which I always recommend doing. But if you're coming from stock or like a liquid ROM, Euroskank, any of those, you're definitely going to want to have to, uh, want to, and you're going to have to wipe your data. I recommend doing it at least like three times just to make sure everything's gone. So next you're just going to wipe the cache portion.
Next we're going to go to Advanced and Wipe Dalvik Cache. And if you want you can wipe battery stats too, it's a it doesn't that doesn't make a difference. Okay. So now we're gonna hit go back and we're going to install zip from SD card. We're gonna go into our downloads since we downloaded it onto the SD card section. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and find AOKP Toro Jelly Bean Build One. Now if you see right under the blue, there's Jelly Bean Build One dot zip. And if it if when you're doing this it's build 10 you want you usually want to always download the latest build okay so build one I'm gonna I'm gonna press power button on it and then scroll up and then hit power button on it okay Okay. May take a little bit for it to uh, do its thing. There you go. Yeah, guys, I didn't forget about you. Those of you that wanted me to show how to download the or how to flash and download the uh, the other um, nightlies, I just waited because I knew that the builds were coming out soon and. There wasn't a point in making two, so you could do an all-in-one, and then it's perfect. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back up here. And a lot of people, when they're flashing ROMs, forget to uh, download and flash G apps, which is a pretty big issue. So you're going to go to Download and G apps Jelly Bean. And you can always rename all this stuff to make it easier to read in a file explorer like root manager and file explorer ES file explorer. So once you find G apps, you're just gonna wanna uh, click on it and yes. Okay, so now that we have that all downloaded, what you're going to want to do is hit Reboot System Now. So basically, you're just turning it on because you flashed the custom ROM and have a new uh, improved user interface with notification toggles and all that stuff. So yeah, just some of the things. Notification toggles, lock screen tweaks. N navigation bar modifications, custom kernel performance options, LED colors, notification wallpapers, phone ringer mods, and even more. So, pretty awesome. You can see that cool boot animation right there. Okay, there you go. Android is upgrading very easy once you uh what i recommend doing right after you uh, flash the rom is just to make another backup of it i like i have probably four backups right now i have a stock backup i have a euroskank backup cm10 um i actually still have my nightly and then i have this so, yeah, four. Just wait for that to update, and then you're good to go. If you've already, if you're already on AOKP, like if you're already on a nightly before you flash this using this method, 
Um, you should have all your stuff still there. You guys should see that I still have my wallpaper on. I don't know if you saw that. That was like a modified Joydex wallpaper. Found that on XDA. In the themes and apps section. In the post your home screen, jelly bean home screens. So that's cool. Okay. So there you go. You guys remember that uh, home screen right there? Still there. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching how to uh, flash and get the uh, get the official AOKP Jelly Bean build one on your Galaxy Nexus or other device. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff. If you dislike it, tell me what I need to do next time to make it better. And that's it. Gadget Guru HD over and out.